Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. It's morning here. Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. It's a wonderful day. Uh, yesterday, I may have told you that Noi had went to the Chinese market that happens on a Saturday around here. And she bought some food from the Chinese market to bring home. Some uh, chicken that had already been cooked and uh, some pork and some shrimp. Now, she's not sure which, but she ate some shrimp and she ate some chicken. The chicken already been cooked, but the shrimp she cooked herself. And last night, she got really sick. I mean, one of those, man, I, I ate something really bad and I'm at the Chris, I'm at the porcelain throne praying to the porcelain God and it was terrible. Her stomach hurt. I mean, it went away uh, eventually by, you know, one in the morning or so she was back to okay. But bad food can get you. Uh, especially when you when it's cooked outside. Now yesterday I had five eggs all by themselves for my lunch. Just scrambled eggs, some pepper. Uh, I did not salt the eggs. For some reason salting scrambled eggs don't appeal to me. But that's all I had was the eggs by themselves. And then for dinner I had uh, about a half of one of those big two inch thick ribeyes. Uh, I quit eating it after about half for two reasons. One, I guess a half of that ribeye is a lot. And the second was I kept hearing Noi praying to the porcelain God of food and it was disgusting <laughs> and not, not the type of thing that you just sit there and, and, and say, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, let me get back to this steak. It just sort of, <laughs> nope, I guess no steak here. So that's what I had for dinner last night. Snacking, zero after Dinner eats zero. Uh, scale, still a frickin' liar. Uh, but inches, I know I'm letting the cat out of the bag, but I lost another inch around my neck. Now, I believe I also lost a measurement below my belly button which we had not been measuring. Uh, but according to Noi, it is definitely smaller than it was. And according to the swimsuit or swim trunks I tried to put on, uh, they were so loose that I know what they fit. They fitted like a month ago and it was not that loose. So, a month ago, I know that that swimsuit fit a lot tighter. So we started taking that measurement uh, about four inches, five inches below the belly button. And we'll start keeping track of that. We weren't before, but I took a mid-month measurement and uh, because the scale's lying, but I don't feel like the scale's lying. So I do have a question for you. I keep reading here that carnivores, for some reason, that they don't, a bug just came by swimming. I think it's doing the backstroke. Yeah, it's doing the backstroke. Uh, 
I heard the carnivores, for some reason, uh, develop a resistance to sunburn that they didn't already have. Now, if anybody can point me to the scientific evidence and a discussion from somebody who knows what they're talking about, about why that is, I think it may be true because I've spent more time in the sun and I seem less and less uh, in, affected by coming out of the sun and being red and look like I've been sunburned. That's all, folks.